Hey everyone, how's everybody doing this morning? 20 of 10 here in southern New Jersey. Yes, I am. Um, and it is a warm one already. I'm talking warm. Uh, and it's going to continuously be warm all through next week. So, but that's okay. It's that time of the season. What are you going to do? Guys, I got a knife to show you that's knocking my shocks right off. Um, this happens to be the number 23 pattern Pioneer Trapper. This is the Pioneer Trapper uh, by GEC. Look at at these covers i've never seen covers on and i've never had a gec knife with covers like this these covers are just i can't explain it i really can't and i love this i never had a knife do you believe at all in knives i think i might but i don't remember i've never had a knife with a flush uh, bolster cap like that. I love that finish. I love that finish. It's awesome. It's finished so perfectly. Oh, man. Oh, it is a tough pull, but you know something? It's a satisfying, uh, it's extremely satisfying. I'll take, uh, the heavy pull on it. Look at this. It is a big, big, big knife. But you know something? It feels great. It really feels great in hand. Now, after seeing this one and handling this one, I've got to go back for the other ones. Um, at least one or two more. Now, they came out with different uh, cover uh, covers already on a couple of them i've seen them already out and now i think i got to pick up another one of these i have to it has impressed me so much um if you guys uh um i was watching a uh, bakery wizard you got to go over and check his channel out um very very knowledgeable guy about traditionals and Knows exactly what he wants, you know, what, what, knows exactly what he wants in a knife. Um, and and puts, out a, puts out a nice little video, very, very nice video. I've always uh, liked his videos. And I was watching his video on this, and that sent me over the edge. And I was like, oh, man, I got to get it, you know what I mean? Um, it, it's just, if you could look at the shield... Oh, I got oil, the oil on it. It's got a nice etch of a guy splitting wood. Um, I, I mean, you can't, there's nothing I can really say if you're into these type of knives. That's gonna, I, I mean, they're, it, it's just, it's, they're just phenomenal pieces. Of, oh my God. So, so different than, I mean, you could tell. You could tell you got a quality piece of cutlery. I mean, you could tell. It comes with a nice pin. I'm so happy I got the pin. Nine times out of ten, I never get the pin. And to some people, it's not important. It is extremely important that I get that pin for um, keepsakes. You know what I mean? I want that pin. It's important to me. It goes, it goes with that knife. And, and if you're missing the pin, you're missing part of that knife, as far as I'm concerned. You just are. But I, I wanted to compare. Oh, my God, my favorite, my favorite, my Shatton Morgan. Look at this. Every time I could get this on camera, I will. It's a big, well, I mean, big-er knife. God, I love this thing. God. Darn, man. Look at this. Just take a look at this piece here. Look at, have you ever seen jigging on a knife that is that pretty? 
Seriously. Um, I just wanted to bring this out to compare. It, they're the same size. Same size knife. The new GEC Trapper and my Shat Morgan. So, I mean, they're almost identical in, uh, in size. But when I tell you this micarta, this muslin micarta is just, it's a showstopper. And this shield, I love that shield. I love a shield like that. Yeah, I mean, it's just a two blade trapper, but it's just an over, you know, it's a, look at this. It's just a bigger trapper. That's all it is. They say that this was the first knife that GEC ever came out with. This was the first one. So I hear. But it's just, man, I can't explain the, uh, I can't explain the, um, the pull on it. Look at this bay. Oh, man. Look at that. Is that not beautiful or not? Is that just a beautiful, beautiful piece of cutlery? Look at the spine, how flush everything is. Not a, not, you can't, not a crack, not a hairline crack in it. Look at that. They're coming in a little over a hundred bucks, guys. And it's just, it's just an impressive, when you get it in hand, it is just an impressive piece of cutlery to me. This is going to go excellent with, with the rest of my uh, collection of GECs. And now that I've gotten this one, I think I'm going to go ahead and at least... Get one more. At least get one more. Because if you look at the other covers on the other ones, they're just as beautiful. They really are. But I just wanted to give you guys a look at this piece. It's just, I mean, if you guys are in the GEC knives, it's a no-brainer. You have to have it. I mean, or if you if you have any kind of collection of GEC knives, how, how don't you purchase that? How do you let this one go? I mean, it's just these are these are what you call keepsakes right here. These are what you're going to hand down to loved ones. I can't stress that enough and I've said that many, many times. These are the pieces of cutlery that your loved ones are going to acquire right here. That's it. They don't get no better than this. They don't they don't get no better. So guys, I'm going to leave it at that. If you can drop me a comment, well, well, well appreciated. Um, let me know what you think about this piece. Um, you know, let me know if you are interested in picking one up. Do you have one? Um, what do you think about this? It's a bigger piece, but it's just so worth it. I mean, it's just, you know what I mean? I've never had a knife with covers like this. It's just mind-blowing. They're beautiful. Even my wife said, wow, that is nice looking. I said, look at these covers on this knife I showed her. I said, look at this. She said, wow. She says, they are, that, that is nice. That is a nice, that's a stunner. You know what I mean? But, um. Yeah, guys, I'm just going to flush this pivot when I get off here. I'm going to uh, clean it and do what I do with them, get them real nice, and, um, you know, take it from there. It's going to be a hot, hot, very, very hot day here in South Jersey. And uh, let me know where I stand with these. Let me know what you guys think.
And like I said, thank God I got the pin. I was, I, I literally had my fingers crossed. I did. I was like, please be in there to pin. And then the pin, I saw the pin. I was like, yeah. It makes sense to me to get the pin, guys. To you guys, maybe it don't. But to me, it has meaning. It has meaning. Because I've been in the game long enough to know what that little pin means when you're, when you're doing this stuff. When you're collecting cutlery and stuff like that. Anyway, guys, I'm going to leave it at that. I keep saying that. Stay cool out there, you guys. Take care. Drink a lot of fluids. Yep. Do your thing, man. Keep masking up. Everybody uh, wasn't masking up, and they were taking advantage. Now the numbers went back up, and now it's mandatory even if you're out in public. You got to have the mask on now. So just mask up and uh, do the right thing. Use common sense. Drop me a comment, please. Let me know what you think about these pieces here. All right, guys, listen. Take care. I have a couple more in the mail. Hopefully, tomorrow I'll be getting them. And um, I can't wait to show you guys this th th these, these pieces I got coming in. All right, guys. Listen, stick with me. Take care. And, uh, you know, please drop me a comment. All right, guys. Take care. Bye-bye.